Well, hello, all of my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay and welcome to another English lesson here on the channel where I have the opportunity to help you with your English comprehension, vocabulary and your English fluency. Today, I have a story that we are going to read and repeat and it is at the intermediate level. So make sure that you are paying attention and ready to learn and have a little bit of laughter in today's story. Now, if this is your first time here, I do have other lessons here on YouTube that you can study. I have playlists down in the description of today's lesson. Also, be sure to hang around until the end where I will have quiz questions to test your comprehension and understanding. So let's dive into today's lesson. Bailey was nervous about going on a camping trip for the first time with a group of friends in a cabin. He had never stayed in a cabin before and was worried about the unfamiliar environment. Let's read and repeat. Bailey was nervous, nervous about going on a camping trip, camping trip. For the first time with a group, group, group of friends in a cabin, he had never stayed, he had never stayed in a cabin before before and was worried about the unfamiliar or unfamiliar unfamiliar environment environment or we say environment environment so i can remember when I was a child, a little boy, we have here in the States what's called the Boy Scouts and the Boy Scouts of America was a group of boys that did things like camping and uh, we built race cars. Uh, we did things for what are called merit badges <laughs> and you'd go, I believe it was from a Weebelo to um an Eagle Scout, I believe it was. Uh, it's been so long, but I remember going on camping trips and we, we it would just be boys and men or their fathers that would oversee the group of boys. And uh, that was pretty fun. So much so we started camping at our house. Sometimes we would have camping uh, tents. We would make tents in the house. Yeah, we would get bed sheets <laughs> and put lights under it and make it around the house. And sometimes we would go outside. Uh, but I can remember being in a cabin uh, when I was a teenager with uh, friends, uh, groups that we went to the mountains. And that was pretty fun. Are you a camper? Now, I can't get my wife to go camping. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen some of my videos where I film outside, I have a, a large backyard. I can't even get my wife to go camping with me in the backyard. So maybe you guys can give me some tips on how I can persuade her to go camping in the backyard. Let's continue. His friends assured him it would be fun and a great adventure. They arrived at the campsite, settled into the cabin, 
and unpacked their bags. So a campsite is simply a, a location where everything in that location complements those who are going camping. So they may have a fire pit. If you have an RV where you go camping in your mobile home, so to speak, an RV uh, a recreational vehicle, you can plug that up. They have camping trails, a campsite. Uh, usually there's a lake nearby or maybe a stream or maybe a river where you can go fishing. Normally here in the United States, campsites have lakes or they're close to the beach. OK, and so they're they're pretty fun, but it gives you the opportunity to be in nature. So let's read and repeat his friends, friends assured him assured him so they gave him confidence okay they let him know look you'll be okay you'll have a good time assured him it would be fun and a great great adventure they arrived arrived or they got there. They got to the campsite. They arrived at the campsite, settled into the cabin and unpacked, unpacked their bags, unpacked their bags. So they had bags, maybe a suitcase, maybe a camping bag full of their, uh, change of clothes, toiletries, unpacked. They took out the garments, their personal items, and they put them in maybe a shelf or a dresser. They unpacked. Bailey helped set up the kitchen, which made him feel a bit more confident. They spent the day hiking through the woods, fishing by the lake, and playing outdoor games. Let's read and repeat. Bailey helped set up the kitchen, kitchen, which made, or sometimes we say which made, which made him feel a bit more confident. So notice it says feel a bit more, a bit. So that's a smaller word we use for or instead of saying a little bit. May I have a bit more juice? May I have a bit more of candy? Or you could say, may I have a little bit more of juice? May I have a little bit more of candy? So a bit is a small piece, okay? They spent the day hiking through the woods, fishing by the lake, and playing outdoor games. So when you go camping, you have to be creative when it comes to having fun <laughs> because you won't have a cell phone. You, you, you have to make up games or have different games or some campsites have different activities there for you. One in particular is called, uh, what is that called? It's the, um, Oh, where well you can you, you zip line. That's it. You, you put the thing, some type of contraption on a line and your feet dangle uh, probably 10 to 100 feet, maybe in the air, depending on high, how high the zip line is. 
and you would go from one tree, maybe a hundred to two thousand yards to another, zip lining, and uh, it's it's pretty fun. I plan to take my boys zip lining this year. Let's continue. As the sun set, they gathered around the campfire to roast marshmallows and tell ghost stories. Suddenly, suddenly, one of his friends pretended to hear a wolf making everyone laugh and scream. Let's read and repeat. As the sun set, sunset. So as the sun began to go down, okay, they gathered, gathered around the campfire to roast marshmallows, marshmallows. So this is pretty fun. You put marshmallows on a stick or a skewer and you hold it over the fire and you let it get a little crispy and then you can eat it. Usually we make what's called s'mores. And so you would have the roasted marshmallow. You take a piece of chocolate and you 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 melt that and then you put a, a graham cracker on it <laughs> and then you eat it. They're very good, but they are very sweet. OK. And tell ghost stories. Okay. Suddenly, one of his friends, suddenly, suddenly, one of his friends pretended, pretended to hear a wolf. So to pretend means to imagine or make believe okay so there really wasn't a wolf around that they knew of but he imagined or made them think that there was a wolf there making everyone everyone laugh and scream laugh and scream Bailey's nerves slowly turned into excitement and enjoyment. That night, he slept in the cabin and found it surprisingly cozy. Now, I don't know why. Well, I guess I do know why. But when I would go camping as as a kid, I could sleep, but I was always a light sleeper because when you're in the woods you have spiders <laughs> scorpions and other little bugs ticks and I was always thinking that these type creatures would come to me out of everyone and so I would sleep wake up and look around for snakes <laughs> all of these different type critters are in in the wild in nature and uh, it's nothing like being in a cabin or in a tent and you see a scorpion or a spider near your sleeping bag or your bed. Oh, it just used to just freak me out. <laughs> so that's part of the camping experience. Let's read and repeat. Bailey's nerves, nerves slowly turned into excitement, excitement, and enjoyment. So remember in some of my past lessons, we've talked about butterflies in your stomach. So a person can have butterflies or be nervous and it turn into excitement. So you go from being afraid to having enjoyment, okay? That night, he slept in the cabin and found it surprisingly, surprisingly cozy. 
So when something is cozy, it's comfortable. Okay, so the couch at home can be cozy. Your bed can be cozy. Uh, you can sleep in your car and it be cozy. <laughs> it depends on how your car seats feel. Okay. In the morning, they cooked breakfast together and talked about their favorite moments. Bailey realized camping was not as scary as he had thought. Let's repeat. In the morning... They cooked breakfast, breakfast, or some people say breakfast, breakfast together and talked about their favorite or favorite, favorite or favorite moments. Bailey realized camping was not as scary as he had thought. He told his friends he would definitely or surely or truly go camping again and might even try a tent next time. No, Bailey, stick to the cabin. (laughs) Let's read and repeat. He told his friends he would definitely, definitely go camping again and might even try a tent next time. So as we conclude our story and I'm getting ready to read through the story at a faster pace, let me ask you something. Are you the type person that would you try something that you were afraid to and then when once you did it, you liked it or enjoyed it and you were willing to try it again and maybe do something a little bit more adventurous? I can remember my first time riding a roller coaster. I was so afraid. But once I rode it, oh, I would write them all the time. And so that's how life is. It's about trying things that you may be afraid or uncomfortable doing. And then you can determine, hey, I like this or I don't like it. Let's read through the story at a faster pace. The story is also down in the description. You can read along there or on the screen. Let's dive into the story once again without stopping at a faster pace. Bailey was nervous about going on a camping trip for the first time with a group of friends in a cabin. He had never stayed in a cabin before and was worried about the unfamiliar environment. His friends assured him it would be fun and a great adventure. They arrived at the campsite, settled into the cabin, and unpacked their bags. Bailey helped set up the kitchen, which made him feel a bit more confident. They spent the day hiking through the woods, fishing by the lake, and playing outdoor games. As the sun set, they gathered around the campfire to roast marshmallows and tell ghost stories. Suddenly, one of his friends pretended to hear a wolf, making everyone laugh and scream. Bailey's nerves slowly turned into excitement and enjoyment. That night, he slept in the cabin and found it surprisingly cozy. In the morning, they cooked breakfast together and talked about their favorite moments. Bailey realized camping was not as scary as he had thought. He told his friends he would definitely go camping again and might even try a tent next time. All right, so let's get ready for a few quiz questions and test your comprehension, okay? Why was Bailey nervous about going on the camping trip? Why was Bailey nervous about going on the camping trip? What activities, number two, did Bailey and his friends do during the day? 
can you remember? It was about three, maybe four different activities. Make sure you put these answers down in the comments section. And finally, how did Bailey's feelings about camping change by the end of the trip? How did they change? See if you can answer all of these questions down in the comment section. Well, that's going to do it for today's lesson. Be sure to check out my podcast, Improved English Podcast, and down in the description of today's lesson, you will find a link to Parlay with Jay. And that's where I do readings of short stories. Actually, it's my English listening channel. So some of the lessons that I used to have here on the channel, I do separately there. And uh, you can listen to those to strengthen your English listening abilities. OK, all of my links are in the description or you can just simply go to the website, uh, jbarksdaletv.com, and you will find them there. Well, as always, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and I hope you join me on my next one. I'll see you then.